It's day two of Worlds here in Memphis. The team event is about to get started. Registration has begun. Let's go check in with our team, the Chainsaw Chats. And here they are, the Dial H for Hero Click sponsor team, the Chainsaw Chads. We have Tristan, we have Grant, and we have Alex Mater. Stand up, ladies and gentlemen. We say ladies because Tristan is on the team and we have to be nice. <laughs> All right. Let's get a view. Let's get, come on, guys. Get a good team shot. Good team shot. What are we hoping to pull today, boys? Hero Clicks. That's a good call, actually. Plastic. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Thank you. We 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 shall check in with you guys in a little bit. Once you guys get your brick, we'll be here for the unboxing. But uh, I don't even know what to say to you. I don't even know. What to, I don't know what to say to you, people. Tristan, what is your team? I'm playing uh, Blink and Friends, so it's mostly uh, ranged. I got Blink is obviously a close option too. I got an Empower, I got a few Outwits here. A lot of this is my prob, obviously. Yeah, a lot of support powers, really. Okay. But I'm hoping just to hide behind. The heaviest hit is what? Cable? Cable and Blink? Anybody, I got I got a few Empowers. Powers? Okay. Yeah. Awesome, and, yeah. Tristan. I'll grab your team sheet here in a second. Cool. We'll move on to Grant really quick. Grant, what do you end up building? Uh, uncommon Magneto and some Danger Rooms. Okay. You yep. got some Enhancement, you got some Prob. Looks good. Yep. Double speed. That'll be solid. Awesome. Mater, we'll do a sweep over your team really quick. For oh, sure. That looks great. I like it. You have a lot of running. I like, I like the running shot, moving attack, pen blast. You got a lot of perplex going on here. You got some exploit for your close combat beast. You feeling good? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's eight. It's the Magneto with the pelvic thrust, man. It's the pelvic thrust, oh, yeah. Magneto. He thrusted maybe a little too hard. A little bit much. All right, good luck, guys. Thanks, hey, guys, Team Worlds is still going on. Let's get a closer look at some of those tables and see what everybody's playing today. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, danger rooms going on there with Apocalypse. I like this, Redwood of the Forest. We have quite the melee going on here with Summoner, War, and Solomon Cable just all up in the action right now. That Empower on that Jean Grey is going to be dangerous. Right here, a little bit of a ranged fight going on. Bit of a standstill. All right, nice. I like that Abigail Brand waiting to phase. Here we got double Danger Room Constructs, some beefy boys going on here. Deadpool's making some water. Nice little bit of water for DP. All right. This so is the game's getting off. Yeah, that Chase Annihilation, though. She's already got some demons up there. They're messing some stuff up. And double pog generation, actually, with Arcade. That's going to be tough to beat. Oh, man. We've got a fight. Summoner Merlin all up in the starting area right now. It's just a dirty melee going on here. I love it. Let's check in. What looks cool? What looks cool? On the lookout. On the lookout. All right. All right, all right. I love we got a ton of Magnetos going on here. Look at all that translucent plastic. That one Magneto, he is locked down right now, guys. That's going to be tough to get out of that situation. I love this. We got a little bit of Nimrod Prime, a little bit of Juggernaut. That's a lot to chew through on that team. Got another Nimrod, another Juggernaut. There's some sweat. There's some sweating going on here, guys. This is some top tier competition right here. I'm digging that white sword chase apocalypse. That looks great. We got Wizkid in the chair. Mad Jim Jaspers. That's a money table right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be tough to beat. Tristan, first game of the day. How'd it go? Pretty good. Got 285. You got 70. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Grant, first game of the day. How'd it go? It went actually really well. I did lose by 15 points, but it is what it is. That's tight. What was yeah. the end score? It was um, 125 to 110. 110? Yeah, that was tight. Good job, Grant. All right, Alex, first game of the day. How'd it go? Very well. Very Very well. 300, straight up. 300, straight up. Good job, Alex. The team world is in full swing. We are at round two right now. We're seeing a ton of good players with a lot of good pulls. So, I'm incredibly excited to see where this goes. Super early to call. The judges are running around like crazy. It's been pretty awesome so far. Let's go ahead and talk to some of the judges and get their thoughts on it. That was close. That was really close. 
All right, while you have a little bit of downtime, we're going to talk to the judges here at the event. How's the event going so far, gentlemen? I am thrilled with it. 57 teams, 171 players for Team Worlds. Awesome. How are you feeling so far about the event, my man? Uh, good. <laughs> I need more personality. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, things are running smoothly, no problems at all, so can't complain. What is the uh, weirdest rules question you've been asked so far today, Anthony? Weirdest rules question today yeah. was when I had to double check the rule book on um, Monarch generates a piece of terrain when another character generates terrain. An opposing character destroyed blocking terrain. Does placing a debris marker generate debris? And I had to go back and double check the rule book. It does not. It just places debris. Places it. Okay. Ooh. See, I didn't know that one either. So, man, you're on top of it. You want to get in on this, man, a little bit? All right, cool. Have you had any wacky rules questions today? Oh, wacky rules questions. Honestly, no. Things have been going pretty smoothly. Okay. The, uh, awesome. I think. No, the weirdest one was the uh, respawn Wolverine if he's off the map when uh, the game ends as he's scored, which he's not. Yeah. But um, no, it's been an easy, easy event thus far. Okay, yeah. awesome. Have you guys seen any cool teams? What's your favorite team you've seen so far today? Or any cool matchups that you've seen? Um, Emily pulled the chase, was it Annihilation and War, and she's just curb stomping things right now. It's, but uh, I know someone's running around the chase blink I saw, which that was a fun figure to see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anthony, see any cool teams today? Or has it just been a blur? Unfortunately, I was moving too fast to notice the teams. <laughs> okay, all right. My man, have you seen any cool teams today so far? Uh, I gotta repeat what they're saying. I've just sort of been running around making sure everything's running smoothly that I haven't been paying attention to any specific teams. And then really it's sealed, so at least right now anyway, so a lot of kind of similar things. I think tomorrow's the day where we're gonna really see the crazy stuff. Well, thank you guys so much for all your hard work. Keep it up, guys. Thank you for your hard work. Oh, boy, I don't know about that, but thank you guys. Super appreciate it. We'll probably check in with you guys in a little bit here, see how it's going. Hey, guys, it's the end of round two for our team, Chainsaw Chaz. We're going to check in with them. Tristan, how'd your game go? Super cold dice. I got 120 points. He got 300. Yeah. That's rough. Better luck next time. Grant, how did your game go? Uh, I lost this game, but uh, he rolled so well, and I did not. <laughs> yeah, but um, also good points still, so points. that's all that matters. Looks like Mater's still in his game, so we'll have to check back in a little bit, but it looks like it's a loss for this round so far, which is rough. But not all rounds are perfect on the way to the top. Isn't that right, gentlemen? We got this. We believe in them. We'll check with them shortly, guys. Hey, guys. We're checking in round three here at Team Worlds. Round three is a pretty good determining factor about what's been winning a lot of games. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a peek at all these teams. Let's go ahead and do it. We got a little bit of Earthbound and Down action here. You know what? There's no crazy expensive figures on this team. I think I only see about one super rare. We must be doing performing pretty well with it, though, making top tables. Over here, we got another Annihilation. We've been seeing a ton of her today. She's been nasty. Looks like he's got Arcade. We got that uh, Magneto. Good stuff. Oh, this team. These are scattered out on this map, man. Again, we're not seeing the most expensive teams in the world here, but they're performing very well, which is always good to see. We got a nasty Danger Room Construct, Prime Nimrod. Now that is a team that I do not want to go up against in this format. That is going to be tough. Next up here, now this is where it's getting in the money here. We have Professor X, we have Chase Apocalypse, we have that rare Wolverine. This looks like a tough build to go against, guys. A little bit of summoner action going on over here, a little bit of death. All right, let's go ahead and check out this next row over here, guys. We're seeing a good mix. Nothing too expensive, nothing too cheap. We're seeing that just because your pulls aren't the best or most expensive doesn't mean you're not going to be in the running. Let's check it out here. Now, these guys pull potentially some of the worst figures I've ever seen in my entire life. We have a Phoenix Nest versus Phoenix Nest matchup. It's always tough to see, but all right. Check over here. We have a South Dakota versus South Dakota match matchup. I can feel I can feel the magic in the air on this team build. And then lastly, right here, oh baby, we have a Saturnine team. That is going to be tough to beat. Saturnine, a little bit of Starlight. All right, it's just getting kicking off here, guys. These teams are strong. They're real powerful. We've seen these teams before. They're also looking good. 
We got the Uncanny Clicksman versus Clicks Off. Guys, these teams are crazy, you know? I thought we were gonna see big one way or the other, but rares and stuff in this set are pulling their own weight, which I think makes this set an incredibly balanced set for Sealed. Tune in, we're gonna have top four, and then after top four, we're gonna have cut, and that's where the real fun begins. It is the end of round three here at Team Sealed. Let's check in on our team, the Chainsaw Chads. Alex, Mater, how did you do on round three, my guy? Three and three right now, brother. I'm three up. Let's go, baby. Three zero on Alex. Love to hear that. Grant, how you doing? How we do on round three, Grant? Um, it's still a loss, but I'm still gaining points for the team. Good points. Good That's points. Awesome. All right. All right. Tristan, how'd you do on round three? I scored 50 points. They scored 35. It was a Merlin, so wow. kind of hard to bring down. I had to run around. But we cranked out that W. Yeah. So that means you guys are what? 2-1 two, two, right now, right? Good amount of points, good amount of points. Everybody's pulling their way exactly how we expected to. Look forward to seeing you guys in the top 16. We'll check back with you guys at the end of round four. That is fantastic. Chainsaw Chads are doing great, ladies and gentlemen. After we see top four, we'll probably go around and double check the top tables again. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're at the end of round four, right before cut. Let's check in with the Chainsaw Chads and see how they did. Grant, Alex, Tristan, how was the last round? How'd it go, Grant? Um, it was the same as the other rounds. <laughs> oh, Grant. Grant, I'm glad you were consistent. Oh, yeah. Consistency depends. How bad is your back hurt, Tristan? Tell me. Well, I managed to get 200 points to win that round. So, yeah. 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 So we had W from Tristan back up here. Alex, how'd it go? How'd it go? It was so close, but couldn't quite pull it off. So we Alex. had extremely similar teams and okay. yeah, just better rolls all around. So it was good stuff. It's great game stuff. That's all right. That's all right. We had two players of even height and skill, I'm sure. And <laughs> pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. close. Pretty close. Right. No, I think I, I, uh, I got you by next. Uh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at those shoes. Maybe. All right. Maybe it's a like little. Slippers. Those yeah, those are like slivers. That's pretty even. All right, so Chainsaw Chads, maybe moving on, maybe not. They got a lot of points. We'll check with them once the top 16 builds are released. And that is top 16. We're gonna talk to the Chainsaw Chads, see how they did. So obviously, sadly, you guys weren't able to make top 16, and that is a bummer. But what did you feel about your first Worlds tournament that you played with a full brick as opposed to six boosters? It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun building teams and actually playing the games. Yeah, I think it gave us a lot more opportunity for it definitely was difficult to get teams built just because there was so much to deal with, but you can definitely make things more cohesive that way. So, What was your uh, favorite team you guys played against today? Uh, my favorite team was probably the last one. Um, to be fair, I did win against him, so that might make me a little biased in that game. But yeah, they were playing Nimrod, the Unique, uh, and some other figs. Yeah, mostly Danger Rooms, though. Cool. Um, I had a Deadpool team that w ended up being really interesting, so I thought that was it was a fun game. I ended up having a near mirror image of my team for my last game, so playing a rare Magneto, Cipher, the whole nine, and it came down to rolls. But that was definitely my favorite game by far. The close ones are always the best. Oh yeah, absolutely. Did you guys have a favorite game? I kind of that's kind of the same thing. So actually, I'll ask you a different question. Who was your MVP that you had on your team? Uh, Figure, not. Not person. <laughs> oh, dang. Well, you now say, that changes my answer. You can say person, too. Okay. You can say yourself. <laughs> I'll say myself, but Blink. <laughs> Blink was the MVP on my team. Oh, it was Mater. Um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, God, all my characters were so bad today. <laughs> no MVP on my team. <laughs> no. Common magic. Oddly really? enough. Yep. Being yeah. able to kite people around and just tap them with Magneto was fantastic. Awesome. Well, guys, you said you had a great experience, and I am just—I'm so bummed that you weren't able to make top 16. So instead, we have a few prizes here for you. Since you are the Chainsaw Chads, Simeon, bring him in. Oh, chainsaw wielding Wonder Woman. Yes, one for each of you. Go ahead, go ahead and take them. Yes. Thank you. There you go. All right. Thank you guys so much for being Team Dial H for being the Chainsaw Chads. Tristan, Grant, Mater, thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Happy trails.